I swear, it looks like it's melting. Other than grow it, what on earth do you do with a 1,266-pound pumpkin? That's not a question anybody in Damerscotta, Maine, ever asks. In this picturesque town of 2200, the likes of Big Mama here, named because the man who grew her says she's wide in the hips, gets pride of place in the pumpkin parade. Over Columbus Day weekend, the annual Damerscotta Pumpkin Fest and Regatta attracts 15,000 visitors. The people of Damerscotta have discovered something about themselves. Where pumpkins are concerned, they are incapable of leaving well enough alone. No pumpkin can remain undecorated, unphotographed, uneaten, or unraced. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. Pumpkin, pumpkin, fat and round. Pumpkin, pumpkin, it's your day. But you haven't seen anything till you've seen a pumpkin boat. We should have somebody named Noah building this. <laughs> they build destroyers by day and pumpkin boats by night. <laughs> it's true. Bill Clark is an engineer at a nearby shipyard. He and Buzz Pinkham were the masterminds behind giant pumpkin boat building and racing in Damerscotta. <laughs> this was your brainchild, and you see no rationale whatsoever in it. Oh, that's the, the beauty of the whole thing. I mean, nothing makes sense. Great. The cast of characters who've assembled at Buzz Pinkham's Garden Center is, shall we say, eclectic. Tell me exactly how do the gnomes figure into this? Well, they're actually pumpkin patch gnomes. They hang out in the pumpkin patch and bear a strong resemblance to Tom Lishness, who teaches survival techniques to naval personnel. Each pumpkin has to speak to you, and... Um, this one did? It did. Um, it said, I want to be a swan. Sha Zha Martin went around the world in a 25-foot sailboat. She plans to race in the wedding dress she found at a thrift store. I have a great veil and it's very silly. Whoever heard of growing a boat? It takes very large seeds. They can gain 25 to 50 pounds a day. A day? Can you watch them grow? Kinda. Sometimes yeah. you can hear them. <laughs> what do they do? You hear strange noises sometimes when like you're what? out there. Groaning. Tim Smith, a high school journalism teacher from Boston, races every year in the various paddle boat events. You could call him a pumpkin jockey. What is a good pumpkin and what isn't? Typically you're looking for a pumpkin where the uh, area, the carved area is above the water. Uh, and that's the that key That would thing. help. It does help. <laughs> the surprise contender for 2013, a Sunday morning pumpkin. Race day doesn't look promising at 6 a.m. But by the time the paddle boat relays begin at 9, crowd ready? It's sunny. Are you ready for some pumpkin racing? A crowd has gathered. And they're off! Get around that buoy. Get around that buoy. Although rounding buoys can be complicated, that is determination. Soon, the superior design of the Sunday morning boat and the skill of its crew members are obvious. <laughs> Too bad for the green monster. And what about Zsa, Zsa Martin, wearing that wedding dress in her swan? And we have Zsa Zsa in the water. <laughs> that was my swan dive. <laughs> but not your swan song. <laughs> On to the motorized division. Tom Lishness is whole laps behind the rest of the pack. That's Buzz Pinkham looking like a pumpkin himself. It's gonna be close. It's a real race until the leader suddenly stalls. He may be out of gas. Kobe Gale is out of gas. Buzz Pinkham finishes second. Buzz touches the dock. Buzz number two. 
do you have a strategy? Uh, no. If I had a strategy, who would get in a pumpkin? He wouldn't be in it if he had a strategy. He'd be home. <laughs> Tim Smith is the winner of two first place trophies. The pumpkin boats are hauled away to be turned into compost. A bit of a sad end to Pumpkin Fest? Nope. We thought we'd leave you with what may be the definitive answer to the question, other than grow it, what do you do with a giant pumpkin? In Damerskata, Maine, what else? They raise it to the top of a 170-foot crane and drop it on a wrecked car. Like that? Then here's another one. They did it twice. 